Judge Teresa Brennan, under investigation for a litany of ethics violations, won't be back on the bench anytime soon. Today, the Michigan Supreme Court suspended her from her duties, but did so with pay. As Local 4's Rob Maloney shows us, it's not the outcome many of her critics wanted to see. A judge removed Judge Teresa Brennan from her bench and caseload last June. She's collected her state paycheck of $138,000 a year plus benefits while waiting for the JTC investigation's conclusion. Last week, the JTC asked the Supreme Court for an interim suspension without pay and also asked to make her pay $35,000 for the cost of her case after a judge found ample evidence she violated the Michigan Code of Judicial Conduct and campaign finance laws. Judge Brennan objected and her lawyer response said quote asking that she be barred from acting as a judge which is what an interim suspension does all because she is not fit to be a judge is removing her claiming otherwise is disingenuous and this is not the case's penalty phase so the Supreme Court left her off the bench and her paychecks intact at least for now. Judge Brennan sent Jerome Kowalski to prison for life in a murder conviction she presided over. He's been awarded a new trial after Brennan's affair with one of the case's state police investigators. Today, Kowalski's son, Jared, told Local 4 he wanted her pay stopped. And with those reports that came out in testimony, you think that she would be now suspended without pay because of anyone else would it had that damning evidence against them would have been suspended and without pay. The group Citizens for Judicial Reform gave an even angrier response. This is yet another smack in the face to the people of Livingston County. They, the Supreme Court, have allowed Teresa Brennan to make a mockery of our justice system at the taxpayer's expense. Now, this is drawing to a close here soon because Judge Brennan's going to be before the Supreme Court next week, the 4th, and they're going to hear this case, and that's where this case ends up, and they're the ones that make the final decision as to what happens to her. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4.